I have never in all my years in television been forced to use metal detectors and security guards for either my guests or my audience. That is, until today. But all this extra security is important to ensure everybody's safety because our guests are members of the notorious street gangs, the Crips and the Bloods, and they're here to meet face-to-face -face next on The Maury Povich Show. Crips who wear the color blue and the Bloods who wear red. Some say they are to blame for inciting last year's violence. And caskets. A way of life in parts of L.A. For gang members, this is the reality of daily existence. Last year's infamous riots put a harsh spotlight on L.A. and its warring street gangs. But gang members say no. In fact, they claim the riots actually brought them together and helped bring about an unprecedented truce. This is history in the makings right here for Crips and Bloods to come together and stop fighting, stop killing. This is one result of that truce, a revolutionary project the Crips and Bloods together for the very first time, joining forces to create an album of rap songs. Bloods and Crips banging on wax in record stores everywhere March 9th. The lyrics are explicit and graphic. The language of the street. But the object is to take their anger out in the music, not on each other. As they say, their words are a window into the hell they call home. This is Ronnie Phillips, who's the president of Dangerous Records. He's a, a Hollywood record producer who went into the gang-infested uh, L.A. area, all for a rap record. Uh, you answer this man's question, yeah. because it's a legitimate question. Uh, yeah, I, I think that I think that's what's wrong with the society today. I think that parents are not facing the issues. This is one of the main reasons why I did this album because I noticed that everybody is saying, like a lot of these gang members don't have family. You see what I'm saying? And they grew up. I mean, they they like soldiers. They're raised by each other. Some of their parents are alcoholics. Some of them are are drugs. Some of them are. Some of them do very well with raising their children. Some of them don't. So the ones that don't stray. So the, the whole the whole thing about this whole project was. Let these, let these brothers take out their frustrations out on the record. Instead of picking up a nine to go shoot you, we, we, need, to, we need to come up with some sort of system to create, to stop all this madness, man. This is, this is the main issue. What we're doing here, right now, we're tired of, of the city. Right now, L.A. is a gang-infested area. Every block, you got different rival gangs. Right. You, can, you can walk two blocks, you're in a pie rule, Santana block, Kelly Park. I mean, this is gang-infested. My whole thing was, I'm seeing so much of this stuff going down, I'm, 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 all these, I'm talking to these little guys every day. They don't have no gyms. They don't have no little league baseball team. They don't have nothing like the other societies have, like a, a better class neighborhood. So in order, in, or, in order for me to deal with the problem, I got to face the issues. I got to find out. I, I got to let these guys take out their frustrations on the record, not in real life. That way we can deal with the problem. Okay. Then we can go and start putting gyms and getting baseball teams, little league things going back in our community. Because we can't wait on the president no more, man. Okay. That, that ain't happening. Hold on. First, there was Hyrule Love. Then came Steady Dipping. The Bloods and Crips saga continued. Coming straight at you from the Banging on Wax 2 album, the smash single, Jeez and Low. Available September 6th at a record store near you.